Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, HB 2360 increases the mandatory minimum for a second offense of committing a felony with a gun. Mr. Speaker, this bill is about accountability for one's actions. People make mistakes, sometimes serious ones, and they need to be held to account. But what we're talking about here is someone's using a firearm to, in the commission of a felony, and not even the first time, but the second. This is about something more than a simple mistake. I've been told there is no lesson, there is no lesson learned in the second kick of a mule. I'll let that sink in. When someone in our communities uses a gun in a crime, and at that in a felony crime, and at that for a second time, it's past the point of learning a lesson. Mr. Speaker, I believe that once someone is being convicted for the second time of using a firearm in the commission of a felony, that they need to spend time away from our communities. They need to be held to account. I believe that because I hold here the court records of a murderer who killed a man in my district simply because that man came home while his house was being broken into. He was killed in his front yard on his way home to eat lunch by a man who was taken to court for at least 107 crimes and court order violations in 19 years. His murderer did not need to be in my community. He didn't learn with the first kick of the mule or the second or any of the kicks that came after that. You all hear me talk about this more as section goes on, but for today, I simply ask that the body join me in holding the most dangerous criminals in our Commonwealth accountable. I move that the body engross the bill and pass it on to its third reading.